Uh, it's been a while, guys. This is, this feels good that I'm walking around without any any issues. So, all right. Before we start, uh, we've Alex has been in Miami for a while, a few weeks, which is a while for him, a week or two. Um, then I decided, hey, why don't I want to fly over there since it's opening up over there? And I've already got COVID, so I'm not gonna get it again. Hopefully, knock on wood. And we decided just to throw a meetup. This is gonna be the first meetup since the pandemic, guys. An in-person meetup. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> we haven't done one in so long. This is going. To, the the information is on the Twitter, guys. So I won't, I won't go into details too much. But it's gonna be at the East Hotel, the rooftop. It's this Saturday, October 10, 1 p.m. You must sign the sign-on sheet, guys. Part of the sign-on sheet is a waiver because I know there's COVID and all that. I don't want any, anybody to go, oh, why didn't you tell me that fucking I might get COVID? Well, I mean, unless you're a dumbass <laughs> and you, you haven't turned on the television and you don't know about COVID. So bring, if you're not comfortable, do not come. I mean, I don't want anybody to not feel comfortable. I don't want to get into a situation where people are fighting because of politics or anything else. This is a fun event, guys. Bring your mask. We're going to follow the rules of whatever. Um, I just want to meet up. Everybody wants to meet up. So it's going to be this Saturday, guys. If you are afraid of COVID, you know, you don't have to come. But we wanted to just start this because eventually we're going to have to reopen everything up, guys. And I think now is a good time. Miami is opening up. We're following the laws of Florida. So if they say it's okay, who am I going to say is not okay, right? So once again, this is a voluntary event. Uh, bring your protection if you, you know, bring your mask. We'll be wearing masks. So, all right. So anything else, Alex, is going to be there. It's going to be great. We're going to just hang out. This is the first time we had a meetup in, my God, man, since a year. Miami, Florida, guys, this Saturday, 1 p.m. Information sign up is going to be on all our Twitters. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to make it short and sweet, guys. Since you guys are here, I'm going to. This is pretty uh, much probably the smallest turn up. There's only 124 people watching, so I guess it's going to be good for you guys. All right, guys, I'm going to make it really short so that we, you know, I don't want to be overdrawn. I want to tell you basically. I've been training for a while. Alex has been training for a while. We know ourselves. When we started trading, what happens is this. We always want to trade everything. Everything that freaking moves we want to trade. Ooh, PPSI is up. Fuck. I think it's up too much. Let's shorten this shit. And then you blow up. The secret to trading is this, guys. I posted this yesterday. When I was young, starting out, wild, crazy, I traded because I like the action. It was the adrenaline rush. It was like gambling. It felt fucking great when I won. It was miserable when I lost, but I didn't care. I didn't care because I was more about the action than the profits. Then when you mature, you realize, oh, this is fucking stupid. What the fuck, man? You know, it's not entertainment anymore. Most people day trade because of entertainment, to be honest. They don't day trade to make money. Money's a bonus to them. Because if they were serious about making money, they wouldn't do some of the things they were doing. They'd be more focused. They need more discipline. They wouldn't say YOLO. They wouldn't be chasing shit. They would not. They would pay for education. It's like if you want to make doctor wages and you're serious about that, what the fuck? You're not going to fucking fly out <laughs> to some guy in a pickup truck and to try to learn from them, right? Or you, you go to a great school and get mentored by great doctors. If you can't afford $200 a month, guys, to try to make doctor wages, I don't know what to tell you. Learning on your own, trading, it does not work. That's why most people fail. Okay? There's some few people like myself because I had enough money to burn through to figure it out. And I still cannot figure it out. <laughs> because it's always changing, always learning, guys. You can never figure it out 100%. And then take a look at Alex, okay? That, that's a great case study. Alex... Met, we met, and then you know what, man? Through mentorship, whatever you want to call it, Alex become a great disciplined trader because he started out learning the same things that we are teaching MIC. Alex learned 
He became disciplined. He didn't have any bad habits. And boom, look where he is, guys. Okay, I mean, the best case study you could do is take a look at the people teaching you, mentoring you, and how they got there. Don't judge it based upon just the individual teaching. Based upon the students that they mentored, how they got there, and can you do the same thing? And I'm telling you, the secret of trading is not being smart. You don't have to be fucking smart. Computers are not smart, guys. Computers are the dumbest thing. If you do not mentor the computer, if you do not teach the computer, it doesn't do shit. It just sits there. You can pull the plug out and it'll be dead. Go buy a computer from Best Buy. Tell it to day trade. It, can, it don't know. It can barely boot up. Computers are not smart, guys. The person mentoring the computer, putting in the rules, what computers are good at is discipline. Computers never, never break a rule. Oh my God. That's the secret to trading, being disciplined. So there's two reasons why computers rule. Because it's mentored by people who are successful. Traders with rules that have been doing this for a long time, hedge funds, have billion dollar institutions doing this stuff. So they program the computers. The, the computer is like a student. But it's a student that never breaks a rule. So think about that. Why are these algos kicking their butt? It's not breaking a rule. It's very simple. When this happens, this happens. When, when this happens, you sell. When this happens, you buy. Okay? We've cut the learning curve because we already figured out what works for us and what doesn't work for us. So you don't have to go through the trials and errors of all that stuff, okay? So I'll give you an example. If you want to keep it really basic, if you are a short seller and you want to become a successful short trader, guys, this is what you do. Take a look at PPSI. Today it burned everybody. And I'm pretty sure if you had to locate, you would get burned. Because how can you not try to stick your toe into the waters? Remember my analogy all the time, you stick that fucking toe, the alligator's gonna grab your fucking toenail, <laughs> grab you in. And you know what? This is another good analogy. Some people rather fucking fight the alligator than lose their toenail. Then they end up losing their ankle. Then they're like, fuck this shit, I don't wanna lose my ankle. And then they lose their fucking leg. And they're like, I don't wanna lose my leg. Then they fucking lose their life. Other smart people are like, fuck, I will let the alligator eat my toenail. It's a manageable loss. I'm okay with losing a toenail. Other people are somewhere in between. All right, man, I, I'm gonna fight this alligator. <laughs> I lost my toenail. Now I got my ankle. Fuck, what do I do? Okay, I had enough. I don't wanna fucking lose my ankle. I'm just gonna give him my toes, you know? That's called a manageable loss. That's called risk management, guys. The secret of trading, once again, is to pre-plan and to know when you lost, okay? But a better risk management is this. Don't even fucking get into a situation where your toe is in the water. PPSI, MIC, we've identified that as a no short. Everybody that's shorted that is dead. We spent all morning telling people why it's not a short. Hold on. I'm going to share with that right now since you guys joined to listen. It's, it's very basic and simple, guys. But the, the hard part is the discipline to avoid it. You take a look at the float. Three million shares. It already flipped the float by the time 8.30 came. Okay? There is no business for you to be shorting that. If you do short and the alligator grabs you by that toe... Give him their toenail. You fucked up already. Do not keep fucking up. So, if you're a short seller and you eliminate day one low float squeezes, half of your battle is done. Get into the good habits. Okay? That's what being a community is about. I'm not even teaching people to trade. I'm, the half of it is knowing what not to trade, guys. Okay, so one of the secrets is not even getting into that situation where you allow yourself to be tempted. It's really difficult. Most of us are human. If you are an alcoholic, you should not be going to a bar and saying, okay, I'm going to have one drink. That doesn't work. I'm going to have one trade. It's not going to work. 
I'm just going to nibble this one trade. It does not work. You do not need to even be in it. The moment you're locating that shit, you are doomed. You know, do not, do not, do not say just in case. I'm going to locate just in case. The best way to avoid a situation like that is not to be, put yourself in that situation. Okay? And it's very difficult. You need a tab, guys. You need a tab to help you. Okay, and if you do stick your toe in the water, you need to have a, an escape plan. Risk management, hard stops, things like that. But you know what? For a beginner, it's very difficult. Because you get stopped out and you're like, oh shit, I got stopped out at the top. Then you go back in. And that's why you have the max loss rule at the broker level. But then you call up the broker to break the rules. I say, I hear this all the time. The only way, guys, in my opinion, for a n new trader to avoid these temptations is not to even put yourself in that situation. Get a tab and both of your tabs slap each other. You better not fucking locate this shit. It's not even worth it. So the secret, I'm telling you, if you're short, avoid day one. Stick to broken stocks. Day two, low hanging fruit stuff. Okay, that's what we talked about, okay? If you have the discipline to never, ever, ever touch a day one until it breaks under VWAP, you are good. So that's the simplest indicator, guys. It's not the holy grail, but it's a good test for you to figure out if you should even be in that stock. Same thing for a long bias trader. Take a look at VWAP. If the stock is under VWAP, do not buy that stock long. I don't care. Unless you're experienced. I'm talking about the new traders here, okay, that do not know what they're doing. It looks attractive, guys, but weak stocks get weaker. Strong stocks get stronger. Stick to stocks that are making new highs. Stick to stocks that are over VWAP. And you take, you put in a hard stop when it breaks under that. Those are the simple plans. So I wanted to show you the secret. The secret is not learning the trade and all that. Of course, that's the next step. But most people get tempted to stick their toe in the water. And that's where it all starts to go underwater for them, right? How do you solve this? Ask yourself, did you lose more than 200 bucks today? Did you lose more than 200 bucks this month? I don't understand why people do not just join the community. The community is not, even if you're an expert trader, guys, the community helps me. Okay, without Alex, I'm telling you, I, I'll be sitting there right now without IG Live. I'll be sitting there trying to fuck around because I'm bored. If you stick around the casino, you will lose your money back. The stock market is a casino if you do not know what you're doing. Alex became successful. He's up over a million dollars trading a year, one hour a day. Is because he's disciplined. He has his, he he has other things to do. He helps the MIC. He does his trade in the morning, and leaves. Of course, he has FOMO. Everybody has FOMO. But you know what, man? He leaves because he has other things to do, and it becomes a habit. A habit happens when you keep doing something, and once in a while you get away with it, and that's a bad habit. You don't know want a bad habit. I keep telling people this all the time. When you break a rule, you usually win. When you break a rule and win, you usually win the minimum. When you break a rule and lose, you usually lose the maximum. It's not worth it. So a community like MIC, I'm telling you, this is not just a pump MIC. This is, this is me seriously believing in it. It's because me and Alex have traded together for a long time. And that's how we got to where we are. I've always traded with someone Okay, even though they have lesser skill, lesser experience, doesn't matter. It's the same thing, concept, guys. We call that the trading accountability buddy. It's like a gym buddy. Like if you wanted to go work out, you need a bunch of gym buddies, right, Davrin? Going by yourself every day, dieting by yourself every day is very difficult. It's much easier if you have a community surrounding you, supporting you. So these guys, I don't care what these guys are arrogant that think they can learn on the dog. I will let them blow up. But the guys, you guys are watching IG Live right now. You're taking the time to watch every week, guys. Do yourself a freaking favor. If you are not successful right by now, you have to change yourself. You have to do something different. And a lot of times, it's not the technical stuff. We, of course, we teach it the technical. But it's having the right environment around you, guys. Okay, having the right people around you to motivate you, to help you not to do these stupid things. We scream at you all the time. 
we scream at MIC members. <laughs> you know, it's called tough love, right? They're asking like, where should we short? I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You should not. And so that, in my opinion, guys, is the difference between successful people. Successful people don't work by themselves. It's very rare. I had a lot of help. I had help from people. I've, I, I've had help from Alex. I've had help from Tosh. I've had help from everybody. Exactly. Drop the ego. People want to learn shit in their own. Why the fuck? You know, I, I, I met a bunch of friends this weekend. And some of them very arrogant. And they're like, nah, man, I'm going to do this show on my own. I don't need anybody. Help fuck them. I'm like, you idiot. It's like, it's, it's like growing up rich. I don't need my parents' money. Fuck this shit. I'm going to go out and do this shit on my own. Start from the bottom. I'm like, you're an idiot. Give me the help. The only reason I had to do this alone because there was no one helping me, guys. If I had help, I could have been even a bigger trader at a younger age. I welcome anybody who wants to help me. If anybody wants to give me money and help me right now, text me. <laughs> DM me. Help me. I will take it. I have no ego, guys. Okay? I can bypass all this bullshit right now and t ask someone to ask Ameritrade to buy out MIC. I, I, I'm okay with that. <laughs> help me, you know? So the secret is, I'm telling you right now, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share very quickly again. If you're short selling, stick to the stocks that no one's looking at. We call those the low hangers. It's a continual breakdown. The stocks that broke down. How do you identify a low hanging fruit? Simple, guys. Join MIC. We got it all there. Freaking $200, man. You can make it back in one trade. Alex has a freaking watch list. You know, if you you can just watch that watch list. Everything he trades is from that watch list, guys. The million dollars he made is from that watch list. That watch list pays for itself. And I, 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 I don't know what else to say anymore. But, you know, I'm looking at people like, you know, revenge trading. I'm looking at people like trying to teach people and they're... I mean, trading, I mean, if you're trading for yourself, it's okay. But if you're trading for, to educate other people, you, you, you lead by example, guys. And then once again, we do these meetups on purpose. We're showing you that we are real, that we care about our members. We care about other people. This meetup is not just for MIC, guys. This, mem this, this meetup is for everybody. You can come everybody. And why do you think that no one else does a meetup? Because they're hated. They pump and dump. They can't trade. They don't help their members. They're scared as fuck to be fucking meeting anybody in public. Whereas Alex and I, we we want to meet you guys. We are here walking around. Anybody can mug me if they want to meet. But they don't because we don't do anything bad to them. We help people. Okay? So the first thing you do is you help yourself. We have a, If you cannot afford it, obviously, there's a free channel on MIC... YouTube, you know, go to the meetups, go talk to someone, you know, you, you know, there's steps along the way. If you see, if you live in the United States, guys, and you're serious about trading, in my opinion, there's no reason you cannot afford 200 bucks just for one time. Look at the clothes you're wearing. Is that worth 200 bucks? Why don't you educate yourself so that your education pays for all future clothes? You know, this hat was fucking 40 bucks. You know, and I've been wearing forever, but hey, I can forego that and not wear a hat. Okay, I'm going to take some questions, guys. Uh, I wanted to share more, but but I really think, you know, avoiding certain stocks, knowing what stocks to trade and which stocks, that is the secret. If you're a short seller, there's no reason to be trading day one Low floaters, give yourself a rule. If the stock is over rotated and it's still over rewap by a significant amount, oh, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. So, so you take a look at PPSI and take a look at what the VWAP is. If the, so the stock's like, the VWAP is like $2 lower. If it's significantly divergent from the VWAP, it means, and it's way over rotated, and I'm looking at the, the float, 3 million shares. Someone owns the entire float, guys. The only people... And so, it's shorts are so underwater that every single drop 
they will cover. Okay, so the secret is this. Natural bidders are short sellers. They are not long bias traders. Long bias traders are always looking to sell. Short bias traders, if they're trapped, they become the natural bids. They are fighting to cover. And so as long as shorts are trapped, it's a great long. People think it's the opposite. People think that, oh, shorts, oh, the shorts are in, it's gonna go down. No, only if they are up. If they are up, you are screwed. If shorts are down, shorts are screwed. Simple as that. And you take a look at, not, you know what also guys, one more last thing about this. You also have longs that are dying to get into the stock. They're like, please drop so I can get in. So not only the longs want to get in, the shorts want to cover. And if you take a look at the VWAP, the VWAP is like a freaking 50% higher, uh, lower. There's no reason for any long to sell. These longs are not going to sell. They're up. And if you take a look at the mentality of a long, they're willing to hold this thing until it turns into a Tesla. They're always looking for the next Tesla. Longs will hold a bag down to nothing and they'll add more. These are the pump and dump grandmas and all that stuff. And so what's going to happen is this. Now they're phoning their friends. Hey, did you see about this stock? So when a stock on a day one rips like that and it's a low floater, guys, it's not even worth it. So don't even look at that. So do yourself a favor. If you're a short seller next time, take that off your screen. Don't even look at it. You know, the best thing I'm going to do next time is don't locate. Don't locate that stock. Then you do not have any temptations to touch that stock. Okay? And you know what, man? Slow and steady wins the race. We have the process. We have members in the room that are doing this every single day. And if you ask them, the only reason they blow up, the reason they lost, because they deviate from the process, which is usually, it's because they're up for a few days or they're up for the day and they use the cushion game. I have made many videos on this cushion game. All right, I'm gonna take some questions and then we'll end it there, guys. I hope I hope this is a good introduction on how, you know, to become successful. You become successful by, by becoming disciplined. There's no one that is successful that's not disciplined. Bodybuilders are the most disciplined individuals in the world. You know, why can't they day trade? It's because they, most of them maybe are trying to learn on their own. They're, people are lacking two things. Usually they're lacking the technical skill or they're lacking the discipline. When you have a technical person who's disciplined, like Alex, that's when you kick ass. But unfortunately, not all of us are like that. I am not as disciplined as Alex. I'm a very technical guy, but I am not as disciplined. So you don't need to be the most technical individual. You just need to have a qualities of, you know, some discipline and some technical, and you apply it together. And that's why you have a tab, okay? Find a tab that's so smart, so technical, but have no discipline, and you become their discipline. You could be the dumbest guy in the world, but you're the most disciplined in the individual in the world. That is a successful team, you know? Because the technical guy is going to tell you the technical stuff, where to get enter, where to exit, all that stuff. And you as a disciplined tab member, slap them. I keep telling people all the time, you know, you, people will cheat and lie to you as a tab if you're not around. So why not open up a Zoom call? If you're a tab member, open up a Zoom call and trade with your tab live so that they don't fuck around. It's called, account it's called accountability. It's like a little kid. If I can get away with shit, when my mom's not looking out, we'll get away with shit. But if my mom's watching, I'm going to be a very good boy. <laughs> so try that next time, guys. I'm telling you, the tab is the secret. Being disciplined is the secret. You know, you can only lie to yourself. But, it's, you know, it's very difficult to lie to someone when you, they're looking at you. Whew, that, that was a lot. Anybody want to get on? I'm going to end it with, with the, uh, a quick IG Live split screen video which I love I haven't done for like a month raise your hand guys if you want to get on and we'll end it with that and we'll I'll help whoever wants to get on is that Claude <laughs> All right. uh, go live
Yeah. You, when I try to trade me, stop. Hey. How you doing, my friend? How are you? Good. Who are, uh, tell everybody who you are. All that good stuff. Where are you from? So um, my name is Claudio Soriano. I live in Florida right now. I'm going to the meetup. My wife, my wife is do is going to the meetup on on um on Saturday. Um, I became a MIC member three months ago. Uh, I made the lifetime membership within two weeks. Uh, I'm a long swing bias trader, so everybody talks about me being short term intraday. That's not true. We have a lot of people that do long swings, Ty, Faye, Oren. There are a lot of people in the room, Joe, that do long swing trading. So <laughs> my wife is watching me on the on the side. So, so good, but your wish came too. We finally came to Florida. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's like it's been um I love the community. I uh, I uh, I have a tab group and we all speak Spanish. So it's not only that's another thing. It's not only English speaking people, and there are people from all over the world. So if you find a group and everybody speaks the same language, you feel like family. I started trading in 2008, and I started following following you in 2008. But I didn't have anyone to talk to about trading. I was in Puerto Rico. I've been in Florida for three years. I I left Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. And uh, with, with nothing. <laughs> and um, it's been rough these past three years. Um, three months ago, I lost my job as a consultant in, um, in pharmaceuticals. I was working in J&J. &J, and I convinced my wife to let me join MIG for a lifetime. So here I am. So how is it turning out so far? Was that a good decision? <laughs> <laughs> I um I I I became uh, a member uh the end of June, July I I was up uh 40,000, August I was up 60, September I was up 20 because it was really really rough September for a long swing trade. It was like a roller coaster. There were two weeks that was really nasty. Um hey, and hey, it was and that, that's you know I would love to have a horrible a uh, month like that every month, right? <laughs> that feels pretty good. Yeah, exactly. But it's 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 been it's been it's been rough. The, September was 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 good, but I'm grateful. That I'm grateful about it. So, what have you learned? So, the, the tab. You think the tab works? Is that is that like the main thing? So, tell just tell people quickly, like what what have what have you done differently that resulted in all these great consistency and probability. So, so the thing about about the tab, the tag group, because I, I use a tab. I have one tab and I have two tags, like a, a group of two person. All of them speak Spanish, so we're speaking Spanish the whole the whole day. Um, Are we you start using speaking... like FaceTime or Zoom or, or just no, app? no, we no, we actually use the Slack app. It's okay. it's all to the app. We we don't speak on the phone or anything. We just start typing the whole day, looking at stocks, helping each other being accountable for the mistakes that we made because uh, uh, my tag group, two of them are short and I'm long. So oh. we have, I, I, I like the perspective, you know, so I'm thinking always in being long and they're always thinking about being short. So I'm, I, I, um, I started um, bringing into the toolbox uh, the intraday. I, I, I don't do intraday, I do long swings. So that has been like very beneficial for me because I'm a process engineer and what you have mastered inside MIG is a process. So I love how Alex is really disciplined in the way he, he trades. He does the exact same thing every day, period. So yes. He doesn't deviate, he's like a computer, but with emotions, but he's non-emotional. You have a you are you're a machine. Period. So I cannot describe. So I, I look at your trades and I'm like, how does he do it? And it's like all over the place, but it's through a process. And you don't let the if you lose money, it doesn't go up to your head. And that's why I'm mastering right now. If I have so if you trade and you don't lose money, you're either a liar or you're you're not trading. Uh, so it's it can be you you're gonna have to lose money, but everybody loses. Everybody loses yeah. every day. 
<laughs> you know, yeah, you win, definitely. you lose, but you lose. But the, the secret is this. We already talked about this in, in MIC. It's a process. The first thing you do before you enter a trade is what? You have to pre-plan your trades, pre-define your risk. So you know ahead of time how much you're, you're going to be willing to lose and where you're going to exit. If you do not place that stop out, you are dead. You walk out to the bathroom, you go to lunch, you come back, game over. Yeah. When I so, do when I when I do my long swings, I always say people to tell people forget about the targets. Focus on the stop loss. If you're not clear and you don't have a hard stop loss, you're going to lose money always and yeah. always period. That's it. And you you have a couple of targets along the way and you enjoy the process when you're right and if you're wrong, you're you get out and that's it. You don't trade anymore. Correct. It, it's a repeatable process, but the problem people have, you're right. The, the problem people have is they don't have that plan ahead of time, and so it becomes an emotional trade when they're stuck in it. And I think you yep. told me about that. Were, were you the one that you, you were, like, holding something for a while, and then uh, if you had to sell it, once you sold it, it was like, oh, my God, what a relief. Yeah, I, 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 I've been holding uh, NIO since it's $2, and I, I've been getting coached by Joe Kelly. I, I have a phone call because I'm a lifetime member. I enjoy my benefits. People do not do it. I talk with Joe every first Friday of every month, ever since I've become an MIC member. And we wow. just sit down and have a chat every first Friday for one hour. And Joe is not like the one hour is up, you're, you're gone. No, we have been, there, there have been times that I, I'm telling him it's Friday, it's 8 p.m. It's been two hours, Joe. I think we're, we should. Hang up, hang up, so you can start having spending time with your family. You know, he is not like okay, one hour is up, let's go. No, no, we have been talking an hour and a half, two hours, two hours and a half, and it's crazy. And we just talk about stocks. And it, being a trader and having this, um, this being alone, it's it type. To be in a trader, you have to be in a group where people think like you or or have perspective against you. Uh, but long bias or short bias, you need to be with people that talk the same language as you. That I think will be fifty percent of your of you being um, successful in this in this way of what you have chosen. You know, you you're absolutely right. You you know why the traders on Wall Street are successful because they trade in a group. They're not by exactly. themselves. They're surrounded exactly. by everybody. And unfortunately, most of us do, will never step foot into a Wall Street firm. So that's yeah. why we created MIC as community to kind of mimic that Wall Street environment. You know, it's like if you surrounded yourself with like minded people with the same goals, eventually it's going to rub off. If you're just doing it by yourself, all your bad habits will come out. You're not going to learn anything. Even worse is if you choose the wrong tab, meaning this oh, I, I don't. I'm not in any um, MIC program. Uh, I I don't want to pay, so I'm gonna go find my friend who just started trading. I'm gonna go trade together. So what's gonna happen? You have two bad traders learning together all the bad things. <laughs> so you know, it, there's no way around it, guys. You know, you, it's like this is why the top traders, they're in these hedge funds, they're in these prop trading on Wall Street. Why are they doing that? They couldn't be at home trading for themselves and keeping all their profits. But there are advantages to be in that mm -hmm. group. You know, you have, in MIC, you have a thousand eyeballs screaming out news, screaming out different things that you may never understand or learn. That's the same thing with a prop trader. It's like we cannot do everything ourselves. And so together as a team, you know, it, it helps tremendously. And that's why we create all this. And even be, beyond that, you create relationships, friendships outside of trading. Exactly. Yeah. Human beings are not designed to be alone. They, they're designed to be in packs. I always say that if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go, you still want to go, but slowly. You want to go far. Go you want to go far. Exactly. exactly. If you want to yeah. go fast, you're alone. If you want to go far, you go in a group. And I'm telling you guys, man, that being in a group environment saves me so much because if you're by myself, I'm so bored. I have nothing to do. And when I'm bored, I do stupid things. But now, if, you know, I, I guarantee you, but if, if, if you're in a group, you can talk to your friends. Your friends will keep you out of that problem during the day, guys. So, yep. thank you. you can, so, you're going to be there. I'm, I'm very excited to meet you, man. It's yeah. Been, it's been a we'll long we'll time. meet on Saturday. We'll meet. My wife is saying we'll, she's going to meet. 
Hello. What is your name? <laughs> Migdalia, Migdi. You'll meet her on Saturday. <laughs> hey. I'm changing. I'm changing my setup this week. I'm adding two new monitors, and then there's gonna be another computer there. So we're gonna trade together. All tax deductible. <laughs> you good? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm talking to our tap, our our CPA. You know. Yep, you can deduct all that, Brian. Yep, you, you're, you're talking to Brian. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, Brian, yeah, I know, have. Uh, yep, we, you have to say that we have a CPA in house. That's good, and he knows his. He knows his stuff. Did you set up a uh, LLC with him or anything like that, or you just? We're started? we're starting the first the first week of January next year. Great. First, make some money, right? Doing <laughs> that's that. the first step. <laughs> first yeah, step that's the money. next step. <laughs> hey, yep. thank you. This is this is awesome. Thank you. I'm, I'm so glad to talk to you. So Saturday, we'll I'll talk see on, you there on Saturday, my friend. Yeah, we'll talk on Saturday. See you all. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Well, that that was awesome. I didn't expect that, guys. So I'm gonna end it there on a good note. So we'll see you on Saturday, guys. Uh, text Tosh. You have any more questions about anything? But this, this meetup is going to be awesome, guys. We'll see you there, and we'll see you online. Any questions, just hit us up on Twitter. Uh, all the information is going to be on our Instagram page, uh, My Investment Club. So I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.